chapter 15. And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the ark of God, and pitched for it a tent. Then David said, None ought to carry the ark of God but the Levites. For them hath the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God, and to minister unto him forever. And David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levites, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel, the chief, and his brethren, an hundred and twenty, of the sons of Merari, Asiah, the chief, and his brethren, two hundred and twenty, of the sons of Gershom, Joel, the chief, and his brethren, an hundred and thirty, of the sons of Elizaphan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred, of the sons of Hebron, Eliel the chief, and his brethren fourscore, of the sons of Uziel, Aminadab the chief, and his brethren an hundred and twelve. And David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priests, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Aziah, and Joel, Shemaiah, and Eliel, and Aminadab, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your brethren, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priest and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of the Levites bear the ark of God upon their shoulders, with the staves thereon, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries, and harps, and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Heman the son of Joel, and of his brethren Asaph the son of Berechiah, and of the sons of Merari their brethren Ethan the son of Cushiah, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Jeaziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Unai, Eliab, and Benaiah, and Measai, and Mattathiah, and Eliphaleh, and Mikniah, and Obedidum, and Jeiel, the porters. So the singers Heman, Asaph, and Ethan were appointed to sound with cymbals of brass, and Zechariah, and Aziel, and Shemiremoth, and Jehiel, and Unai, and Eliab, and Measiah, and Benaiah, with psalteries on Alamoth, and Mattathiah, and Eliphaleh, and Mikniah, and Obedidom, and Jeiel, and Azaziah, with harps on the Shemoneth to excel. And Kenaniah, chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed about the song because he was skillful. And Berechiah and Elkanah were doorkeepers for the ark. And Shebaniah and Jehoshaphat and Nethaniel and Amasai and Zechariah and Benaiah and Eliezer, the priest, did blow with the trumpets before the ark of God. And Obedidom and Jehiah were doorkeepers for the ark. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obedidom with joy. And it came to pass when God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen. And all the Levites that bear the ark and the singers and Kenaniah, the master of the song, were the singers. David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord with shouting and with sound of the cornet and with trumpets and with cymbals making a noise with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David that Michal the daughter of Saul looking out at a window saw King David dancing and playing and she despised him in her heart.